next ship I'm going to build is the Black Pearl All Scenario version. If you're not familiar with this particular ship, it has multiple deck levels and incredible detail. This package weighs over 16 pounds and I'm going to show you what comes in the box. I've taken a peek and it is amazing. Let me get it out, spread it out and give you a hint of what's to come. Some important information. This is a ZHL model. Don't be fooled by imitators. Finish size of this particular ship is going to be 980 millimeters by 368 millimeters by 523 millimeters. The scale is 1 to 50. So let me get into the box and show you the amazing things that come with the ship. Before I show you the parts, let me give you an idea of the plans that you get. Each one has a parts list in English, also in Chinese. These are the, the part plaques. And then you get into the actual build. It's step by step. There are some written instructions, but a lot of it is visual, which is very helpful for me. I'm a visual builder. Very good detail. I've glanced at these. I already know that I can do this because of my experience in building the earlier golden version of the Black Pearl. In addition, I'm just going to pick one at random. I'm going to pick the third one. There are four schematic sets that are all scaled one to one. To give you an idea of the schematic, this is almost four foot by three foot. There are four of these at different stages of the ship's build. There are two of these boxes full of parts. I'll set this off to the side. In no particular order, this is box number one, I will say. It has electrical wiring, your uh, AC adapter, and then some of the electrical components and what you would put in the side of the ship to plug in electricity. A switch, a remote switch. Then we've got various sizes of barrels. There are miniature buckets in here. And then you also have the kit with all the... Uh, fruit and vegetables and crates and just all kinds of items in there. Here's a lot of your brass plates and I'm sure there'll be more actually in the other box. This is black walnut. There are several items in here so you'll have to come back and see as I build to get a reveal on what's in each one of these packages. Very well packaged though. Same thing here. You can see the exposed parts are the black walnut. Also in box one is this, and inside of this there's some of the rope work that comes with it, and I'm sure there's more. Several cannons in these bags. In this compartment are some of your fragile things. This isn't necessarily all that the kit contains. I'm just giving you a sample and some close-ups of some of the things. These are those little guns that I was talking about. cannons. There's balusters. I used these last in my last build. It had these also. I never did figure out where they went, so maybe this ship will help me figure that out. There are several dead eyes, blocks, things like that. Several different size barrels and buckets, nails, pins, things like that. Here's a sample of some of the metal items that you get that I will actually cover most in uh, gold leaf, but you could also paint it. There's actually very nice detail on all these parts. These will be the lanterns. You do build those. This is the emblem for the back of the ship. The King Neptunes, they're still wrapped. I'm not going to unwrap those. And these are just different adornments that will go on the ship in different places. The angel herself come, comes unassembled. And that, I think, is to reduce the chance of breakage. These are the statues that go around the, the back under the captain's quarters. Again, I will cover those in gold leaf. Here's one example of the different plastic materials that will need to be painted. And uh, again, there's a nice scene of um, a lot of bones skeletons. Here there's an assortment of rum bottles. Some of them are broken. You can see the, the base is broken off. Your outer 
planking again the black walnut then this is a, a, a stiffer it's also black walnut this is probably your first layer of the hull and then your masts and I'm sure that's not all the masts we got another box to go this is the second box and here we've got another assortment of black walnut laser cut very crisp and clean just to look a little closer and to determine the quality of some of the black walnut I've opened one of the packs and the thing that's unique on some of these is on this part I recognize this from an earlier build but this has some etching on it same with this this is the part that extends out and holds the anchor has a little string and a hook and a pulley system that will go on it that's a little uh, upgrade from what I've seen in the past and the thickness this particular placard is uh, 20 millimeters thick I recognize these as uh, I think it has to do with the staircase let me turn this around here this I think is the top of the little housing for the bell for the ship's bell cannon sides this looks like the doors these are marked you know with the what placard is that's E this is J these are a little thinner but it's still good quality Here's part of the crow's nest. This is two sheets. These, this is the floor of the rafts and more parts of the uh, lifeboats. So far nothing that, that broke loose or anything so I'm very happy with that. More planks, more things for mast and yard arms some sail material another packet of wood and this is the base I tend to make my own bases but it does come with a base if you want to use that I have two more boxes again these are different people that I'll have to paint and decide where to place them more rope more extras food containers a desk, different things like that. Again, more dead eyes, more blocks, some very small intricate black walnut parts, and the final box, sail material, and some more of the small brass hinges and things. You'll see more of the details as the ship build begins because I'll open these packages. I hope you'll follow along. It looks like a very high quality, well put together ship with good instructions. I hope this brief unboxing of the ZHL version of the Black Pearl All Center Row version was helpful. I hope that you'll consider following along on my build, or maybe even better yet, join me on the build. It's a high quality model. You can find it online, just search for ZHL ship models and then do a search on the all scenario version. They have two versions. They have a golden version that doesn't have the multiple decks and it's it's pretty good too but there is nothing to compare to this particular model. So as always thanks for watching and I hope you'll consider joining along on my journey. I'll name each one of these the Black Pearl all scenario version and it will start with part one which will follow this video in a few weeks. Again thanks for watching. Thank you.